Before going to the technical, so quickly introduce yourself. Myself Bhavani, I am from Manchli Patnam. I have completed my uh, graduation in the stream of electronics and communication of engineering in the Kiriti Balreddy College of Engineering at Maidavaram. I had completed my intermediate in Arthur Junior College at Manchli Patnam. I had completed my 10th class in Shishanabha High School at Padana. I have done my internship on Internet of Things. I have I have done my main project. The title is Breast Tumor Segmentation Using CNN Architecture. Um, my technical skills are Core Java, Manual mm. Testing. My hobbies are playing badminton, watching movies, listening music. I love singing and traveling. Yeah, uh, fine. So that's a great introduction. So can I go with basics of Java questions? Yes, sir. Okay, so what is Oops in Java? Oops is nothing but uh, object oriented programming language. It is used to improve the code reusability and readability. Yeah, okay. So, what is the array concept in Java? Array is the collection of uh, homogeneous uh, elements. Okay. There are two types of uh, arrays single dimensional array and uh, multi dimensional array. Okay, so can you give the difference between method overloading and overriding? Yes, sir. Okay, what is that? When child class and parent class uh, having same method names, that is called uh, method overriding. Uh, when child class and um, parent class having same method names that but different uh, okay. parameters, that is called overloading. No, so whatever you have said, parent class and child class having same, same method, method name, that concept is known as overriding. Same class, two methods having same name. Okay, which one done at compile time and which one done at runtime? Method overloading is uh, done at compile time. Okay. Method overriding is done at uh, runtime. Yeah. So, what is inheritance in Java? Inheritance in Java. Child class acquires the properties from parent class. Okay. So, one class acquires the properties of another class is known as inheritance. So, the relation is parent and child. Okay. So, fine. And... Uh, are you aware about the name package? Yes, sir. Okay, so what is package? Package is nothing but group of uh, classes and methods. Yeah, okay. There are two types of packages user defined package and predefined package. So, which keyword we are using to get uh, one package to another package? Um, like, uh, my, my class is under ABC package. I need to write it in a BC. Import, import keyword. So we are using import keyword. Yeah, uh, fine. And then, can you name some advantages of OOPS? Code reusability and readability. Security okay. of the code. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there Communication any between uh, classes and objects. Yeah, fine. So, uh, like, uh, while coming to the uh, basics of Java, so you are right, uh, studying some statements. So. Uh, in the, inside the statements, so what is looping statement? Looping statements. Looping statements for loop, yeah, okay. while, do while, for each. Like uh, I require the definition of looping statement. So we can go with a statement to print multiple times until the condition reach. So we can use looping, looping statement. That is known as looping statements. Okay, fine. Uh, can you give the difference between JRE and JDK and JVM? JRE is nothing but Java runtime environment. Okay. It is used to run the program. Okay. JDK is nothing but Java development kit. Okay. It develops the software. Okay. JVM is nothing but con it contains JDK and JRE. Java virtual machine. JDK only contains JRE and JVM. JVM is Java virtual machine. Using for? By code, execute. Yeah, yes, execution execute, execution. Java, each and every Java code was executed by JVM. JVM. Okay, so next, uh, why we can say Java is a simple language? It is uh, easy to understand. Okay. Uh, syntaxes are user friendly. Okay. Um, because of platform independent. Okay. Robustness. Yeah, uh, sir, by simple means, uh, just uh, okay. easy to understand and easy user friendliness of syntax. Okay, so fine. And how many access modifiers are there in Java? Four access modifiers. Okay, what are they? 
डिफॉल्ट पब्लिक प्राइवेट प्रोटेक्टेड डिफॉल्ट प्राइवेट पब्लिक प्रोटेक्टेड ओके व्हाट इज द एक्सेस लेवल ऑफ पब्लिक थ्रूआउट द प्रोग्राम थ्रूआउट द प्रोग्राम एंड द सेम क्लास एंड आउटसाइड द पैकेज इन इट्स ओके फाइन कैन बी ओवर राइट द स्टैटिक मेथड नो सर व्हाई बिकॉज़ स्टैटिक स्टैटिक मींस कांस्टेंट ओके वी कांट चेंज वी कांट चेंज ओके सो व्हाट इज द कांसेप्ट ऑफ टाइप कास्टिंग इट इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग वन डेटा टाइप टू अनदर डेटा टाइप देयर आर टू टाइप्स इंप्लिसिट टाइप कास्टिंग एक्सप्लिसिट टाइप कास्टिंग ओके सो कैन यू प्रोसेस द फंक्शन लाइक व्हाट इज इंप्लिसिट एंड व्हाट इज एक्सप्लिसिट नो आई डू सो यू नीड टू like go through that one also converting from lower data type to higher data type is known as implicit higher to lower is known as explicit okay so when we are uh, going with the explicit we need to add the cast add the cast okay fine so what is scanner class and uh, where we are importing this class scanner class java dot util package we are importing from java dot util package okay and scanner class means uh, we need to give output uh, input as runtime yes to give the input with the user at runtime so we are using the scanner okay so why string string is immutable in java once string object is created we can't change yeah okay uh, and then Uh, again we can say if are storing in a heap memory okay like uh, it's having a string constant pool memory so that's why values uh, if any value is duplicate we can store the memory as okay and okay can you write how many ways we can declare the string carol you can how many ways we can declare there are two ways okay. using string literal using new keyword okay how you can uh, go with the string literal Uh, hello world i need to declare a hello world how you can go string it you need to declare string s1 S2 hello world how you can declare hello world s2 is empty string ha uh -huh. just i am saying i required hello world how you can initialize string s1 equal to uh -huh. hello world uh -huh. inside the double quotes ha uh -huh. okay how you can create a new string s1 equal to new string yes then inside the constructor parameter we okay so yeah, what is the difference between if condition and if else condition if condition is uh, true okay then okay since statement no, no. is uh, executed in if block okay condition is false in if con in if block then it will go to else yes so when we are they are asking the, uh, the difference if we say block of statement if the condition is true it will execute or else the statement will escape uh, no, like nothing will be printed but if else if the condition is false it will enter into the else and it will print the else block okay so that is the difference okay so okay yes bhavani i think uh, i done with my side you have any queries to ask okay yes,